channel members, what's up with y'all, man? We got another fight prediction, bro. We, we, we breaking fights down from the car. Ain't nobody else putting in this type of work for y'all. So smash the like button for it. Make sure you continue to be a member to the channel. I'm make sure I continue to give y'all fire dope content that nobody else get access to. But let's get to this one, man. We got a cruiserweight title on the line, man. WBO. Chris Billing Smith putting his title on the line against Richard React Park. Uh, React Park is a 6'5", um, Orthodox fighter out of the UK. Um, 17 wins, no losses. 13 wins by way of knockout. Then you got Chris Billing Smith, 19 and one, um, with 13 wins by way of knockout. His one loss um, has been was against Richard React Park. By split decision. So, what's up, Craig? This is the rematch. It's one of them. Feel me? So, um, this is gonna be a good fight, y'all. This is gonna be a good fight. Um, breaking these two fighters down since they fought each other. Um, Chris Billing Smith is actually the one that's been able to get opportunities, take advantage of those opportunities. This kind of grew as a fighter a little bit. But React Paul's kind of been hot and cold. Um, he's been more active recently, fought two times in 2022, two times in 2023. Um, but since 2019, Chris Billing Smith obviously has been the one with the better momentum. He got the Lawrence Acoli shot. Um, Richard React Paul had an opportunity to beat Ja Opataya's mandatory, and he ducked him. He fucking ducked him. He ducked Ja Opataya, man. Ja Opataya had to fight the 6 6 dude. I forget his name, bro. Dave, Dave, uh, David Thomas. David, no, Thompson, the 6'6 six, six dude that he just demolished, bro. But, um, so their careers since they fought kind of went in a little bit different directions. But if you got a good eye for this shit, this is what I say. React Paul clearly got more talent, bro. He's clearly the more talented fighter. And when they fought the first time, he actually was the one imposing his will on Chris Billing Smith. Chris Billing Smith is now the workhorse. Um, he's now, and I'm getting into their fighting styles, he's now the one that's trying to drown you, trying to fight on the inside, trying to muck it up, fighting in the clinch, and just wearing you down, trusting his gas tank, trusting his cardio, trusting his output to wear you down, and trusting his ability to take shots. Because um, Chris Billing Smith, his defense ain't the best, bro. Especially at the level he's going to be fighting with React Paul, bro. His defense ain't the best. Like, his last fight, say stoppage, I don't even remember the dude's name. But I just remember I had money on Chris Bindler Smith. I'm watching this shit like, yo, this motherfucker getting pieced up, bro. Chris Bindler Smith getting hands put on him right now, dog. And when I'm watching this shit, I'm like, bro, don't cost me my money. You probably be a for show W. And sure enough, old buddy got injured or some shit and... They got the stoppage for Chris Billing Smith in a fight that, in my opinion, he would lose. It. Richard React Paul, on the other hand, coming off of a great performance, got a stoppage in the second round. And what he does better is he got much more head movement to his fight style, much more athleticism. Like I think the fight, the shot that he hurt, um, this other guy with that he just fought, I can't remember his name because he was a relative nobody, but I studied the film on him. He was slipping shots down with the left hook. You know what I'm saying? On the inside, he goes to the body. He finds space well with his counter punch. He just looked like the more skilled fighter. And he showed in that first fight just enough gas tank, just enough dog to where he ain't like a Tommy McCarthy who Chris Billing Smith put on a hell of a performance against in a rematch. Um, to where you just gonna bully Richard React Paul and think that ain't nothing coming back. McCarthy ain't really had no power. But he wasn't really throwing nothing back. You get on the inside with uh, React Paul, them hooks gonna start coming. Them uppercuts gonna start coming. So um, much more willing to engage. And obviously he has the confidence of having beat Chris Billing Smith um, by a close decision. I believe it was a split decision the last time that they fought. So um, really, really good fight. This, this one here, a toss up, bro. This one here, a toss up. This is a true 50-50 um, level fight where um, both fighters have an opportunity to win. Chris Billing Smith can go in there and he can make it very tough on Richard React Paul, not give him the space to land, and just really end up winning um, by way of, of of outworking him, possibly hurting him late, um, and, and, and kind of taking over the back half of the fight in a fight that starts competitive. Another thing that can happen is with Chris Billing Smith's lack of defense, lack of head movement, and the way that he fights now to be ultra aggressive in the ring. 
excuse me, y'all, my bad. The way that he fights now to be ultra aggressive in the ring and try to walk to you, try to keep that work rate up, he has a lot of holes in his defense. And I can see Richard React Park slipping and catching him in between something, um, pulling back and, and then stepping back and then catching him with a with, with a nasty right hand uh, type of counter shot. And then that's all she wrote. You know what I mean? Like, I can see it going that way, too, um, at any moment in the fight because Rag Park has some, has some real power on him. So, um, for me, this one is a tough-ass fight. Um, but this is what it come down to to me. I think that Chris Billum Smith's last performance was an outlier. I don't think that he's going to perform that bad. This is the one guy that beat him. He going to be up for this fight. And he got Shane McGuigan in his corner. And y'all know I'm high on Shane McGuigan if you were a channel member. I think he's nice with it, with his adjustments, getting the best out of his fighters. I like how Shane McGuigan trains. And I think React Paul used to be under McGuigan too. And um, and the last time Shane McGuigan had Chris Billen Smith in the ring with a former pu pupil, um, Chris Billen Smith went out there and put on, laid down a demo on Lawrence and Coley. So all of that is in the back of my mind. However, Shane McGuigan can't fight for Chris Billum Smith. And I just have a hard time believing that Chris Billum Smith is going to be able to walk through that fire without getting burnt, bro. Meaning that that minefield of counterpunching ability, athletic talent, switching angles, um, being able to slip and rip, rip and counterpunch, like like um, React Park can do on a moment's notice, and then also having the ability where maybe he won't React Park won't win all of the exchanges with Chris Billum Smith on the inside, but he'll win enough, and I think he'll be far more um, what's the word? Far more able to hurt Chris Billum Smith than Chris Billum Smith will be able to hurt him. Could be dead ass wrong, but. I think React Par is a talented fighter. He's going to be hungry as well because this is his first WBO title opportunity, first title opportunity in general as a cruiserweight. And I think he's going to try to take full advantage of the opportunity, meaning he's going to be locked in. He's going to be ready to go. And I just think when breaking this fight down, the guy that I think can have the most success in most areas is Richard React Par. I think if they're out at distance and Chris Billy Smith is trying to work his way in, React Par has a little bit better jab, a little bit better boxing ability, a, 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 a better ability to counter. And when Chris Billum Smith does get on the inside, React Park can work enough on the inside, find his space. He's good at slipping and ripping shots and getting leverage on those shots, even in, in short spaces. I just think he's a, I just think he's a little bit better fighter, bro. And I think that this is something that he's going to be hungry for. Not to say Chris Billum Smith is not going to be hungry too. I just truly believe that he's going to go in there and he's going to do what he can, bro. He's going to go in there and he's going to do what he can. And I think that's going to show through and I think it's going to bode well. And I think that um, because of Chris Billum Smith's aggression, Richard React Paul is going to be able to use that aggression against him and catch him with a big counter shot and possibly stop him. Um, but I give Chris Billum Smith the respect of maybe not picking the stoppage. But then again, I kind of want to. Because <laughs> the eyes look good. It's hard. It's hard to pick, bro. But I do got Richard React part winning. I'm going to say he does get the stoppage. I think something gets through on Chris Billum Smith early to hurt him in the first four rounds, five rounds. And then I think later on in the fight, after softening him up a bit, catching him coming in a few times cleanly where it looks like um, Bill Smith is taking him well and, and, and kind of still coming, still trying to fight to his game plan. I think eventually somewhere between round six and round nine, um, Richard React probably is going to slip something or he's going to pull back on something and he's going to catch Chris Bill Smith coming in and really hurt him, bro, and really hurt him. And he could even catch him coming out the front foot, but I just see React Park uh hurting him off the back foot in this fight or hurting him off like a slip and rip to the body or a slip um, you know, type of uppercut inside that he's becoming really good at throwing. So I just think he's the more talented offensive fighter. Um, I think he's a more talented athlete. 
And I think he's going to be out to prove a point. I think he's going to try to snatch that title from Chris Billings Smith. And I think he's going to do just that by stopping. It's between round six and round nine. Y'all let me know who y'all got, bro. I'm going with Richard React Park um, because I think Chris Billings Smith going to walk on to a shot and get his ass put up out of there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.